But intros and endings for songs are kind of, I think, the most important part of the song. It's either going to make it really, really, really good, or if you don't get it right, it's going to make it just okay. As the player and as the listener. So, there are two factors at the beginning and two factors at the end for playing intros and endings. All right, you wanna write, Greg? Sure. Number one, there are two kinds of intros and two kinds of endings. And they're both exactly the same, so we'll call them, there's two kinds of, they're both the same, but, oh well. One of them is called an inhale in, intro or ending, and one of them is called an exhale intro or ending. Okay? Now, in church on Sunday, a good minister, when he gives a sermon, now, I'm sure all of you have experienced boring, bad sermons, right? And you go, oh. And then, but a good minister, right at the beginning, or any good lecturer, if you listen to lectures, um, uh, a good person giving a talk, Will always got, has always got to do something to catch your attention and to get you to go, oh, I think this guy's going to be interesting. A book. When you read a novel and you open a book, they say the most important pages in the novel are the first two. That's why Danielle Steele, I don't know how she does it. She can put out a book every couple of months. But when I open a book, if, I, if they don't catch me at least in the first four or five pages, I generally put the book away and I never read it. Unless I know what's coming and I, and I know to keep going. Isn't that true? Yeah. Okay. So you got to hook them some way to get their interest and make them go, Oh, I think this is going to be really cool. Um, songwriters know that. They know that the lead up to the main part of the song is really important because you got to get people going, I wonder what they're going to do. Okay, so in an intro, that would be an inhale kind of in, uh, introduction. Get them to go, <gasps> and, and, and that anticipation of what is to come is really important. Okay, now in an ending, the inhale ending is, is the kind you get a standing ovation to. It's the kind of ending that goes, they, they leave you off with this big, ta-da, and the audience goes, <gasps> And they stand up and they go, yay! Okay, so that would be an ending like, um, what did you say? <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> what did she say? Okay, this is an, an inhale ending. <laughs>
quiet music. None of you? Yeah, that's cool. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Once in a while. Well, yeah. It, see, for me now, it's my mood. In the car, I can't listen to fast, bouncy up music anymore. I get so riled up just driving around in a normal way with other people's driving habits. Yes. I need to listen to something more elevator. Elevator. Yeah. yeah. Something to calm me down. So an inhale intro is is something. Yesterday, all my trouble. What kind of song would you say? Let's let's give some, the songs some brain beats. <coughs> Greg, if you can write. Let's let's put um, very mellow song number one. Very mellow. Very mellow. Okay. Number two, moderately mellow. Mod. Just put mod mellow. Number three, kind of uh, middle of the road. Four, semi-active. I'm just making these up, so maybe we'll polish them later. And five, booming. Okay. Semi-active. Semi-active and five, booming. Now this applies to intros and endings. Okay? So all we're going to do here is we're going to decide what kind of song it is. All right? And then we're going to, once we decide what kind of song it is, we can decide which ones get inhale endings and which ones get exhale endings. All right. I would say, wouldn't you, one, two, one and two definitely get exhale endings, right? So just put a little parentheses there and put exhale. We want... Exhale. E X H A. Yeah, exhale. Number three is a question mark. We really don't know. Kind of depends on how you arrange the two. And four and five will be inhale endings and intros. Big, big, boomy ones. Okay. Very good. I'm proud of us. Look what we came up with. <laughs> All right. And you know, I never thought about it. All these years I've been teaching, it never, I took a lot of lessons and I talked about inhale and exhale endings, but it never occurred to me teaching beginners and intermediates that how important it really is. Um, one of my teachers says if you give them a good ending and a good intro, they don't really hear what's in the middle. <laughs> they don't. So, so kind of if you screw up the whole song and you give them a good ending, they'll remember the ending and not, uh, not what happened during the middle, okay? So yesterday, what kind of song would you say yesterday is? Let's, let's just play just the melody. Yesterday is moderately mellow. I would agree. I would think... Probably number three, don't you? It's not really, really mellow, mellow. It's a Beatles song. And it's not really active, active and booming either. Okay? So kind of number three. So number three can go either way, huh? It depends on what mood you're in. So I could start this song with a really mellow intro. 